I've just arrived in Mercedes-Benz of Portadown and I'm really looking forward to getting in and test driving the Mercedes A-Class. Okay, Michelle, so this is the car we're going to show you today. Brilliant. This is the A200 AMG line. Classically, straight at the front of the car, we have the AMG front bumper with the big diffusers, the chrome radiator pins, and also then the uh, chrome splitter at the bottom. Lovely. As we come round to the driver's side of the car, we have the 18 inch AMG alloy wheels finished in titanium grey, and also then more of a fluted <coughs> side skirt that you wouldn't tend to have on the SE model. When you come round to the rear of the car, then we can see the AMG rear bumper. Again, it's quite chunky. It has the two exit exhausts, one at either side, the chrome finisher down low, and then the new LED tail lamps, which are a lot sort of pointier than the previous. Yeah, yeah they're def definitely more sort of modern looking, aren't they? They're heading that direction. The uh, previous car, the tail lamps were quite small and out of the way, but they've managed to sort of integrate these quite well into the lines of the looks car. Looks nice, looks nice. As we come around to the driver's side, I have the key in my pocket and the car has chrome tops to the door handle, so that's part of the premium package, which is a keyless entry system. All I do is simply touch the door handle, the car opens. Amazing, I love it. You could have your key in your handbag, your pocket, as long as it's on your person, close to the driver's door, the car will open straight away for you. Brilliant. On the inside of the car, the car is finished in Artico and Dynamica, which is our two man-made materials. It also has contrast red stitching around the seats, steering wheel, and again on the door cards. It also has optional longitudinal aluminium trim, okay, um, just along the doors and the centre console and the dash. It's beautiful, really, really lovely. Big, big thing for us now is the new MBUX, the Mercedes-Benz user experience, which is a first for Mercedes-Benz and the compact car market. This is voice recognition, basically, like, hey Mercedes, and the it's car will do looking. it. It's just so modern yeah. looking, isn't it? it the really car is. will do whatever you wanted to do. I get into my car in the morning, hey Mercedes, take me to work and the car pre-populates the navigation for me, tells me the route and if there's any live traffic information available too. That's brilliant. And, and I know um, this is a, a slightly higher spec. What about standard models? Do you get this sort of stuff in Yeah, so what you're going to get in the standard thing? models, you still get two screens, but they're seven inch instead of ten and a quarter, so they're just a little smaller. And the centre media screen is still a, a touch screen. So you can still use your touch screen, you can use your touch pads on your steering wheel, and your touch pad also down in the centre. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I'm really looking forward to getting out and testing all this technology absolutely. and getting the drive. So no doubt I'll have plenty of questions when I come back. I so think we'll get it out for you, shall we? Yeah, that sounds good. Lovely. So before I go out on the road alone, um, I'm going to ask you, Johnny, to take me through some of the features and some of the amazing technology. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Absolutely. So first of all, you're obviously going to get into the car, get your seat comfy, your wing mirrors, which are just adjusted up on the door. Okay, right. pick your right mirror, adjust it, your left mirror and adjust it. Steering column, it's adjustable manually, just down here for up, Brilliant. down, out and in. And then the seat's got quite a lot of adjustment as well. Just under your left leg for back and forward. On the right side of the seat then is the height adjuster and the backrest adjuster. The seat's also adjustable by depth, just in front, and it can move forward and back there as well, okay. Um, once you're comfortable in the car, and obviously your wing mirror's all sorted out and what have you, the start button's just here. So what we do is put our foot in the brake, press and hold the start button, the car starts up, okay. So turn the volume down so we can hear what we're talking about. We got your favorite music on there. You see straight away. <laughs> Blue LEDs all the way around. Oh, okay, these are 64 color true. ambient lighting in this car. All so you right. can actually change the oh, lights. Yeah, yeah we so can be can able to do all that. With what you're so wearing. We can <laughs> simply just talk to the car. Brilliant. So, hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Change the ambient lighting color to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. Just like that. Brilliant. Absolutely and then goes back to whatever you were doing beforehand, okay? Um, so there's lots of things you can do. First of all, on the steering wheel, we have touch pads. On the right side, it's going to control your instrument cluster, and on the left side, it's going to control your media display here. 
So as I say, this car does have the premium pack, so it's got the two 10 and a quarter inch displays. This is probably the best experience for you when you're going to go out for the test drive. The gear shift is on the right side of the steering column here. Brilliant. And we simply just put our foot in the brake, down for drive, move it up for reverse, and then press the end in for park. The parking brake's just located to the right hand side of the steering wheel, but it will auto release for you whenever you're taking off and you select drive. The car does have the stop start function, so if you stop at traffic lights and what have you, the car will cut out and then it'll restart whenever you're ready to go. That's brilliant. Does that have massive effect on fuel efficiency? Does well, it? Look at the, I suppose the way I look at it is if the engine's not running, it's not using any fuel. You're right. Okay. Just on the left side, you're going to have your wipers and your indicators. Okay, wipers are rain sensitive, indicators just up and down, main beam on, hopefully you'll not need a day like that, um, and then your main beam flash just pull it towards you. So from that's the basic driving controls. We've got all these home buttons on the screen and when you get into the car, first of all, you're looking, oh, going, what am I going to do here? But literally, it's the same way you do with your home button on your phones, your computers, everything. You press your home button and it takes you to the menu. You then just navigate through the menu by sliding left and right on the touchpad. Again, same here. We have our home screen here. We can move through all our different options. We can use our touchpad down here, which again has the same features. It's a home button side to side and probably the best thing more for passengers i would say is the touch screen here that's brilliant it's just like having two it, it is unbelievable tablets in front of you isn't it and the information you can get when you're driving is fantastic again you're you can do everything from the steering wheel if you so wish or you can do it by voice and that's amazing because it's so much safer isn't it because you're it's not trying intuitive. to fiddle with things or it's probably it your there. most natural thing is to talk yeah. you know touch pads have sort of been a more recent uh, invention and what have you, but you know, you've been talking since you were uh, two or three, you know. I suppose when you, another thing to look at is we can get the car to save all this information. I've set a profile up in the car, so I can click me, see, because some of the other guys have done theirs as well, so we can click my profile. It goes on to, uh, it goes on to my profile, the way I like the car set up, the lighting, um, even some of my own destinations that I've set in. So a really good thing to try when you're on the test drive is actually talk to the car and ask it to navigate to work. Obviously this, this is where we work, so this is what we've set up. It's set as a favorite, but the, the car also has the advanced navigation package. So just up in this panel here, there's a camera which is going up the road, um, looking up the road. And what it's going to do is, it's going to overlay a real live image of you driving with the navigation instructions on the screen. Certainly something to look at. Brilliant, I can't, I'm so excited. Just the technology in this car is amazing. So I can't wait to be pushing all those buttons and uh, testing well, we get it, it out. Well, we'll get the car to the showroom now and you can try it. Sounds great. Fantastic. Thank you. out for a drive in the Mercedes A-Class. Now this is a fourth generation A-Class and you can really see the changes in design. Feels sleeker, definitely more modern and actually is slightly longer and slightly wider than previous models which means that you do have that little bit more room inside. Now I did sit in the back earlier and have loads of headroom, loads of legroom. There are also isofix points which are really easy to access so if you do have children there's plenty of opportunities for car seats as well. Now one thing I really did notice about the design as well and about this new model is the fact that the boot space, the boot space is far bigger than in previous models. It's far are wider and you can easily access and get things in and out. The three seats also drop down as well to nearly actually flat and it means then that you can fit nearly I would say two to three big suitcases in there so you do have plenty of room even though it is a smaller car. Now when you step into the A-Class you're immediately welcomed with all this fabulous technology. Mercedes have really focused on innovation and bringing innovative technology into the driving experience. BMW, Audi and Mercedes have really been locked in a technology race, but things like this sort of technology was only really available in the flagship 
models like the S class, the 8 series and wasn't really available in the smaller models, it's great to see that the A class has one of the most superior interiors in the Mercedes range. For someone who works in the tech industry, I'm just like a kid in a sweet shop. I'm actually just being faced with two beautiful screens that actually have got everything you need on there. So you've got your driver screen, which can be controlled on your steering wheel. And then you've got your central screen. Now this is a touch screen. You've got everything on here from your phone, to your sat nav, to your comfort, to your vehicle information. It can be touched. It can actually use the touchpad in the central reservation and also you can control it through your steering wheel as well so it is totally hands-free driving. The car has some really really cool features so if you go into the comfort setting on your touch screen and you hit settings you can actually change the color of your dashboard it's absolutely amazing so you've got over 60 i think it's 62 or 64 colors to choose from you just scroll around here and you can actually change the color of your interior. So really, you can be color coordinated, you can match it to the color of your nails, totally up to you. The steering wheel controls are absolutely fantastic. With just the touch of a button, you can actually control your whole screen. So just press the home button and you can see immediately that you can access your sat nav, your telephone, your computer. You can even change the style of the display. So I'm on sport at the minute. I can change with just a flick of a button up to classic and you have faced with a whole different display. So really is hands-free and just so easy to use. So the A-Class comes with a massive range of safety features, just totally unbelievable. So you've got traffic sign assist on this model, and I think it only comes in the higher specs. And what it actually does is it actually has a camera attached to the car and it reads traffic signs. And when traffic signs appear, it actually displays it on your screen. Absolutely amazing. It's also got camera and park assist, which we'll look about at when we actually park. So the car will park itself, something I would love, especially when you're going shopping and the car parks are so tight these days. It's got active brake assist, which will uh, apply the brake if it needs to. It's got this really other cool feature called attention assist. And what it basically does is it checks the driver's attention. It also has lane assist as well. So you probably felt that there. So if I just fear over onto the lane and um, it's not my lane, the car will automatically pull you back and you can feel that. So, so many safety features. You know, if you're thinking back to your driving history, how many near misses have you had? How many actual little bumps have you had? All these features just help you keep in within safety regulations and help you drive. Also, it comes with seven airbags and a pop-up bonnet that actually if you hit anything, it will pop up and cushion like pedestrians or anything that you hit. What is just, I think Mercedes are going down the route of leading us down the path of autonomous driving and it's definitely going in the right direction. Mercedes actually uses voice activation, so the same as Alexa, Google Home, Siri. It's all integrated into your driving experience, so it really is hands-free driving. So for example, I just need to ask Mercedes and she will take me where I want to go. Mercedes. How can I help you? Navigate to work. Please select a category. Work. Do you want to start route guidance or modify the current route guidance? Start route guidance. Start route guidance. And off I go. Now, Johnny did actually tell me, but as I left the showroom, um, to ask Mercedes if it would tell me a joke. So I'm going to have a wee go. Mercedes. Mercedes. How can I help you? Tell me a joke. I love it. Too busy looking at the road. In other words, I should also be looking at the road, not listening to jokes. Absolutely love it. So just back to the sat-nav and the maps. Now the maps, 
you can actually get an option which is based on using augmented reality, which I think is just absolutely and utterly amazing. It just shows you the high level of technology that you're actually getting with the car. And how it works is it actually shows you the road ahead. So for example, if you're on a really busy roundabout that has maybe six or seven junctions, in a traditional sat-nav, it can actually be quite difficult to know what exact junction to get off with. But this sat-nav actually physically shows you the junction on the road. So you've got your map view, of course, but then you've got little arrows that actually show you the road in front of you and what direction to take. So I can just imagine how many arguments and uh, difficult journeys that that would actually save you um, because it's just so high spec and really means that you can't take a wrong turn and you can't go the wrong way so you do get to wherever you want to go on time. So I'm just heading back to Mercedes-Benz of Portadown to reluctantly hand back the keys. Thank you so much, Johnny, no just handing back the keys. You enjoyed it? I did, absolutely amazing. Brilliant. There's one thing I want to show you, just how the car parks itself. Okay, so there's my space. Found my space, we now select reverse, confirm that that's the space and that we want to reverse park. Lift off the brake, you see the indicators come on. And the car starts to roll back in, just glance in the right mirror. Let the car roll back. So we're just watching for the red line getting to the bottom of the curb there and the car should stop. There we go. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. That's a brilliant feature. Good job. I'd buy the car just for that alone. <laughs> so Michelle, what do you think? Absolutely amazing car. Mercedes have thought of everything from safety to technology to comfort to luxury. It's great to see the smaller cars actually starting to get all the features that the big landmark cars always had, but you didn't always maybe get this as high a spec with the Absolutely. smaller cars. So no, I am so impressed. It was just such a comfortable drive. And the fact that it even parks itself, but that, that that's just me sold. Um, so no, definitely have been very, very impressed. Definitely impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it is definitely. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Mercedes have really thought about the whole driving experience from the sheer comfort, to the technology, to all those quirky little features like being able to change the colour, um, the augmented reality, sat-nav, which actually, for me, wins hands down because I don't know how many arguments we have when we go out over maps, to really even the safety features, and there's just so much there. It's great to see all these wealth of features being filtered down to the smaller models because traditionally the smaller cars weren't equipped with all these features and Mercedes have really hit the nail on the head in giving people all these features and a standard as well. So uh, definitely a very relaxed, comfortable, chilled out drive. Mm -hmm.